اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم So in visual discussion of variable that is part of your literature review so you give this heading of your literature review and then your first heading would be maybe servant leadership or any other variable in your study so the literature review starts with the discussion on the variables individually following shall make part of your review when discussing the variables individually now what do you write when you are discussing your variables individually first the concept of variable that is your conceptualization what is this variable about how do you define this variable state the variable now if you are focusing on a specific sector how do you conceptualize this variable in that particular sector is there a definition available for that particular concept in that particular sector how the definitions evolved or have changed over time This is not just limited to the definitions you can also mention the concept how the concept has evolved over time what are the key facets traits characteristics that emerge from the definitions now are there any key facets traits or characteristics that emerge from the definitions so you have to write about these do the definitions agree on something is there an agreement or disagreement in the definitions have this has this agreement changed over time or now the new definitions disagree with what was proposed earlier and finally what does the variable do for organization why is this variable important you can discuss in general and then with respect to your industry scope and this will include why studying this particular concept is important in your field of study Now that we have mentioned these six important elements of individual discussion of variables we need to search these concepts we need to search the conceptualization in particular sector we need to search the definition we need to find out what has been done with respect to this particular concept in the literature so how do i find out about these six particular elements what i've done is you can search effectively For this particular session I'm just going to focus on Google Scholar. You can also focus or you can also use Mendeley NQD A minor light. Now to search effectively about these key elements or ingredients I can use Google Scholar. Now for each step here I've got a particular search string. This is for step 1, step 2, step 3, 4, 5 and 6 so six steps and you've got six search strings now i'm going to use each one of them to effectively search each of these ingredients for my literature review so the first step is the concept of variable that is definition so how do i use google scholar to search my definitions so let's say i'm interested in searching for my let's say servant leadership is one of the concepts so what i'll do is let's say the first step what is the first step the definition how do i search for definition here it is copy this control c and let's open google scholar paste it here control v and let's search it so it's going to search within the text these particular phrases or words This is a wild card because the definition may exist with the word defined definition refer may exist with refers referred look at this our sample defined servant leadership theory in look at this servant leadership is being defined so this is these are the definitions servant leadership defined by robert greenleaf servant leadership as operationally defined in this study look at this so here you are finding the definitions the first step definitions Where is your second step? If you are looking for conceptualization in a particular sector, so copy this. Now paste it here. Is there any definition of servant leadership in higher education? Look at this. Is there any? Well, there are papers on it, so you might open these papers and see if there is a definition in this particular paper let's say higher education servant leadership so is there a definition of servant leadership in higher education so you can open a refer to this paper step 2 done step 
how the definitions have evolved over time. So look at this. I've got two or rather this is repetition. So let's remove this. So copy this and paste it here. So you can use different terms. Let's say I've used time. You can say, let's say maybe development or maybe any other word that you deem fit that may describe how a particular concept has changed over time. So this is how you write it. And then let's say if we get, get something out of it. So you might go through these particular text here. Look at this. This is turning bold. Bold because these are the words that you are searching for in the text of the paper. Moving on. Key characteristics, facets. So here are the terms that might not normally be used. Copy and paste it here. Paste, press enter and look at this. So 12 specific characteristics, 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 primary characteristics of servant leadership. And similarly, you can have others as well. And again, you can have multiple words that you think that may give you better results. So you can change again, anything common. So I'm going to use this particular string here. Here are the results. So servant leadership define, do they agree or do they have something common? So others advocating servant leadership also agree. So now this is an agreement. So now what once this is done, and finally, the last step was value, importance. You can have other words with or. Make sure, look at this or. This is capital. Now look at this. There is no operator here. By default, this is and, A-N-D, and. So you do not need to write and. And just press enter. Now this will give you the value or importance of servant leadership. So this is how you can use Google Scholar to search effectively for each of these points, elements, ingredients that you use for individual discussion of variables. I hope this session would have helped you understand how to discuss a variable individually and further how to search effectively for each of these ingredients in a research introduction. Thank you very much.